ladies and gentlemen, I also want to take this opportunity to respond to the deliberate twisting of my comments during a BBC interview that I had in London. You had regime uh, propagandists have been trying as much as possible to twist my words and I'm here to clarify on those words. First and foremost, my words were taken out of context on that BBC interview by those propagandists. I was in the United Kingdom after 10 years. Many of you already know that in 2013, I was banned from the UK for life, never again entering the UK because of the lyrics in one of the songs, in one of the songs that I did. And in those lyrics, yes, I took responsibility because I actually called for the burning and the killing of all homosexuals. I took responsibility and yes, during that interview, I communicated that people grow and transform. And as a leader, I transformed from calling for the death and killing of people that differ from me. Regime pro propagandists tried as much as possible to twist my words. But again, still stand by my words because I am a leader. Which leader wants to be a leader of all people in the population, even those that are not like me. So I'm not calling for the killing of anyone. I am not calling for their killing. Um, I also want to, you comrades, to know that this issue has been turned from a moral issue to a political issue. The gay issue is used by Museveni's regime to play politics and is a political weapon. Now, you remember that he's the one that broke the law in 2014 and then through his proxies like Andrew Moenda and Fox Odoi, repealed the law again. Now, whenever Museveni sees that he has no popular or political support, he picks up on something that he thinks will build him once again. You have seen him trying to use it against his opponents and he continues to use it shamelessly. It's the same Museveni that tries to hook on our morality and on the children and to say it's in protection of children. But you all know that in the children in the schools where our children are getting problems, who is the head, the ministry of education? That is Museveni's wife. The same challenge has been faced by many people who are raped and sodomized in CMI. We have had many cases of men that are arrested, tortured, and raped slash sodomized in CMI under the watch of General Seven. However, he again tries as much as possible to twist it around to blame it on opposition. 